You come from Oribro, the home of Swedish motorsport legends. How has the reception been for you back home? It's been great. Uh, I mean, it's been uh, many years since uh, since we had a Formula One drive from Sweden. Uh, 23, I think it is. So yeah, it's been great. The support I've got from back home in Sweden, it's been amazing. And even on the tracks, uh, especially in the European races, it's been uh, so much Swedes out there supporting me, also on the social medias. So uh, it's been great to see the support and it also helps me a lot to, to go through the race weekends. That's fantastic. You've been in the GP4 for four years now and now you've transitioned to Formula One. How has that experience been and what's the biggest difference you would say? Yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, GP2 is, uh, is a school for, for Formula One in a, in a way. So obviously you, you learn a lot uh, driving there. You go on the same tracks as Formula One. So it's been a good four years there, but uh, I felt that I was ready to, to make the step up to Formula One. And uh, yeah, but still, you cannot really prepare for Formula One. It's such a different world and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been tough. It's been a tough year. Uh, we haven't had the results we, we wished for. The car has not been what we hoped uh, it would be in the beginning of the year. But yeah, I, we worked hard and I think uh, in the end, uh, We've got some, some really good results as well, uh, like 11th in Monaco. So it's been up, ups and downs, but I've enjoyed it a lot. That's fantastic. Even Formula One has lots of legends. Who would be your favorite legend so far, and who do you look up to the most? Very difficult question. There are so <laughs> many of them. But I think uh, when I was a kid, I think Michael Schumacher was, uh, was my hero. He was uh, driving his Ferrari, winning a lot of uh, world uh, championship uh, titles and also races. So. Yeah, I would say Michael. Okay. When did you first realize you wanted to be a Formula One driver and what's your advice for aspiring drivers as well? Uh, I think uh, I started with go-karts when I was nine years old and already already then I think you, you sort of, uh, you, you see the dream, uh, you start dreaming about Formula One. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it's such a long and hard way to get there. So, uh, but I think, yeah, my first sort of dream came already then. My advice for, for young drivers, uh, would be to, to try and have fun, uh, try and drive as much as you can, as, as often as you can, and then just uh, enjoy it because uh, that's the most important thing. Great. You've been to Singapore a couple of times now, so what has stand out the most for you in Singapore? Singapore is one of my favorite places to go to. Uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, city and uh, uh, yeah, I always love coming here. It's my third year now in a row. Uh, I don't know specific what it is, but I think the whole the whole city is, is such a, a lively city, and there's so many places to go and to visit. And uh, also, I think the race here in Singapore is, is one of the best ones to, to drive in the middle of the city in the night. Uh, it's just an uh, amazing experience. So it's just the whole the whole mix uh, makes it uh, a great uh, weekend. And good luck for the race this weekend. Then thank you. Thank you.